Hello drum fans, welcome back. I uh, just wanted to share a quick thought about a topic that doesn't get a whole lot of love, uh, practice pads. Uh, now most of the time we think of practice pads as just kind of a necessary evil, something to keep the neighbors happy, uh, save our own ears, uh, maybe just pull out a couple extra minutes of practice time when the family's getting really annoyed. Uh, we even call them mutes a lot of the time because that's really how we use them, just to mute out the drums keep everybody else happy, maybe not ourselves so much. Uh, but let's move into a different way of thinking about practice pads and think about how they can really give some real benefits to our practice session beyond just keeping the cops away from the door at night. Um, I've been working on endurance and precision with my feet, uh, so I've been playing through our old friend Stick Control with playing the same pattern with my hands and feet to see if I could line everything up at the same time. Um, so here's an example. This is uh, page 16, number 20. Now it's a cool pattern, but with all that sound going on, it's really hard to tell any detail about what I'm actually playing. We've talked before about how we like to, we want to tune our drums to maximize resonance, and then there's my tendency to put tambourines on everything. So it's kind of hard to tell what's going on. Um, so let's listen to the same pattern with the drums muted. Now, hear how much easier it is to tell what I'm doing? By muting the drums, I can hear just the attack of my sticks on the surface and my pedals on their surfaces and really tell if I'm playing the pattern technically well. Uh, things that I really listen for are the overall timing of the notes. Is each 16th note hitting dead on the subdivision? Uh, flamming between the hands and feet. Are my feet playing exactly in time with my hands or do they hit just a little ahead or behind? Uh, with practice pads you can really tell the note to note dynamics. Are any notes not coming out as loud as the others? Are some notes hitting too loud? Uh, either way is a sign of lack of control. Uh, and then, you know, most importantly, am I really hitting my tempos? Uh, it's a lot easier to hear how my notes hit with the click if I don't have any sustain or resonance coming off the drums. Um, this can be a really eye-opening experience if you haven't tried it before. Uh, you can try even playing just a simple eighth note groove with mutes and a click and see just how precise every note is. Um, you know this may be a, a path to a whole new level of quality in your playing by really focusing in on just that attack and getting away from the sound a little bit. I uh, just want to give a quick note about the pads I'm using. A lot of time, you know, new students ask me about which practice pad should I get. And really, I mean, a practice pad is a practice pad. They're all going to get the job done for you. Um, you tend to gravitate towards certain ones that you like the feel of. I'm kind of using a mix. The, uh, the rubber pads are a mix of the um, HQ sound offs, and then there's a Vic Firth pad set. They're both basically the same idea. Uh, the one on my snare drum... Uh, just a little Vic Firth two-sided pad. Uh, the ones on the cymbals are really cool. I just found these not long ago. Um, got a million of them all bundled up down here. Uh, these are called Symbo Mutes. Uh, they're from, I think a guy in, uh, in England actually like hand makes these. Um, and they're really awesome. These are the best cymbal mutes that I've found. I like them a lot better than the rubber pads. Because uh, they really do, they feel great. They feel like you're playing the cymbal, but they cut it down to just that tick sound. So you can really listen to what you're doing on the cymbal. So I highly recommend uh, getting a set of cymbal mutes. And they also make them in like every size. You can get them for your splash cymbals if you want to, which I haven't done yet, but I probably will before too long. Um, so, yeah, those are mutes. That's about all there is to say about that. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to add those into the comments section. And uh, other than that, time to get back to practice.